uncluttered, and unfiltered is supported by Hearts for Minds. Can you imagine waiting 10 years to get screened for cancer? On average, people with mental health issues experience a 10-year delay between symptoms and seeking help. And close to two-thirds of mental illnesses go untreated. Hearts for Minds promotes healthy lives by promoting mental health education, facilitating early identification, and connecting people to treatment. Are you ready to learn more? Go to heartsforminds.org. That's hearts, the number four, minds.org for more information or to learn how you can help. Welcome to Uncluttered and Unfiltered, the podcast urging you to let it go and don't look back with nationally acclaimed professional organizer, Christine Stone, and self-proclaimed hot damn mess radio and TV personality, Eden Kindle. Welcome everybody to Uncluttered and Unfiltered. This is our I'm old, I want a discount episode. Actually, we are going to talk a little bit about that senior discount, even though we know a lot of you guys are just like, 50 is right. that and right. you're like wait what are you talking about but but first of all hello hello how it's, are you i'm fabulous i loved our episode last week about women supporting women and i love that it brought so many more people to our uncluttered and unfiltered ladies only group i know i was so excited to see that so welcome if you are new if you are new um we asked a few weeks ago i actually came across all of these discounts for senior citizens and let me tell you first of all something that happened. This was two years ago. I'm 57 years old and I was about to turn 55 and I was in raw stress for less. And I was checking out and it must've been the day of the week they do their senior discount. And and the woman said, are you 55? Because there's a discount. And at the time I wasn't quick enough to say, no, not yet. Or to say, yes. Um, Instead I said, no, not yet. But in fact, I was offended that she would think I could be 55. I thought, Never ask that. A woman would rather you not have her back on the discount than ask her that, just assuming that she should get a senior citizen discount. Don't you agree? I 100% agree. Like, just assume agree. I'm way too young for that discount. I'll pay more. Yep. Yep. Because it ruined my whole day. Well, I've had that happen too. And I've, I've, I've said, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not know, eligible. How dare you? And they're like, <laughs> oh, sorry. But in my mind, I'm like, oh, God. Are you serious yes. right now? Right. But, but the fact of the matter is, when you turn 50, you start getting mail from AARP. And that is the first thing that lets you know you're there. Yeah. Like you suddenly are like, wait a minute, this group that, you know, they, they serve a lot of purposes. There's some lobbying they do yep. on behalf of seniors. They do a, a lot of discounts and, and different programs and education. And one of the things they do is give you an opportunity. And I want to say, and this is not a commercial for them. Right. I want to say it's like $16 a year right. to be a member, and then you get all of these additional discounts. But here's the secret. Here's what I didn't know. Some of those discounts start when you're 50. Really? Yes. With an Do AAR- tell. Okay, I will. So I pulled up an article from SeniorCare.com, oh. and some of these discounts are only with your AARP card, and they are for the age of 50 plus. For example, like car rentals, there's a bunch of car rental places on here. Wow. Like Hertz is 20% off if you're over 50. Wow. Dollar rent a car is $10 off budget, up to 35% for AARP members. Oh Alamo gosh. rental car, up to 25%. So air for transportation, most of those are 60 and 65 and up. But for, listen to this, there are some grocery stores that start at 55. Do we still, I don't think we locally have Albertsons. I know we used to, but they have on the first Wednesday of the month, it was 10% off. If you're a senior? If you are 55 and up. Oh my God, that's awesome. I know. Publix, 5% off every Wednesday if you're 60 and up. Oh, wait, say that again. 5% off every Wednesday. Check with your local. Wow. Yeah. I was going to say, I got to, I got to check on that. Yeah. I mean, some of these are I mean, I I never thought there'd be a day I'd be going 55. Well, that's so young. Right. But places like Dress Barn, Goodwill, Ross, here it is, 10% off every Tuesday if you're 55 and up. This must be kind of an older list because I see Steinmart on here. Right. And that's no longer a business. That's But Dunkin' Donuts, all of these various, Taco Bell, get out of here. Mm -hmm. 65 and up. So- Anyway, the reason I the reason I wanted to go over some of those lists are, and, and we've got a link on our Ladies Only Uncluttered and Unfiltered Facebook group um, for that is, like, at what point 
do you start to feel like you fall into this category of senior? And Shannon commented on our uncluttered and un- unfiltered ladies only group when she said, I don't take any discount because I despise being lumped into a group called senior. It's troublesome to her, and she just doesn't want any part of it, even if it means a discount, which is kind of what I said about the Ross thing, but I didn't mind getting the discount. I just didn't want somebody to know I should get the discount. If I have to fill something out, though, I probably am in her camp. It's like if I have to stop what I'm doing and and if say I'm in a hurry and I have a goal, okay, I got to be out of here. If they're like, okay, just fill this out, and it's like, oh, gosh, forget it. You know, I'll, I'll just skip it. But I think if you get that card, though, the AARP card, that's all you have to show. Right. I think. I mean, I I haven't filled mine out yet. I keep throwing it in the garbage can Mm -hmm. because I'm insulted. Right. But I think the next one I get after this episode, I'm actually going to embrace it and fill it out and pay the $19 or whatever it is to join. I I mean, I'm 61, so I'm officially, officially AARP material. I mean, let's just say that. <laughs> well, they're clearly going for the 50 plus now, because when I see the pictures on their website, I see some pretty young looking, thriving ladies and guys on there having time, a good time playing the pickleball and doing all the things, the golfing and all the things we're supposed to be doing as seniors, going to the Golden Corral and getting a right. 10% off or whatever it is. But I just think it's so funny to me that the 50 plus is where I was, first of all, that's when the mail started. Right. And these they're these big thick envelopes. Oh, thick. Very thick. A- and you you get those and immediately and I'm four months older than my husband. So mine came four months earlier than his, and he was laughing at me. He thought that was the funniest thing in the world until his started. His coming came. Too. Yep. Same with my husband, the same thing. So, He's like, Why are they sending me this? I go, Welcome to the club. But let's think for a minute why the senior citizen discount exists. It exists because the thought process is that once you're retired and you're on a fixed income, income you could use the discounts. Right. It also exists because there is definitely something generational about wanting to save money. There's yeah. certainly something I know that I, I don't know if you have relatives that were incredibly cheap growing up, but my grandmother was so thrifty that, I mean, that could be a whole episode how, you know, Right. Tell me how, how you were thrifty. But she would, if you opened her pantry, when she saw something on sale, she would just buy it, buy it, buy it, buy oh, it, buy it. And she had, oh, she was God. an organizer's Ugh. worst, worst nightmare. nightmare. Yeah. I mean, jars of the filter fish. Yeah. And things like you don't maybe want to have for, for years. Yeah. Yeah. Just milk in the freezer. Yes. Just, yeah. You know, that kind of vibe. So I feel like that's something that is kind of when you think senior citizen, you think of that. But well, I think of when I think of senior citizen, an old lady with a walker yes. who has gray hair and um, needs that discount because, like you said, she's on a fixed income. But reality is senior isn't what senior used to be, you know? I, I feel like what I'd love this episode to do is normalize asking for the senior discount. Absolutely. Let's normalize that. I agree. Because I think if I want to go out with my my girlfriends and we're dressed in what we consider like hot girl clothes for our 57-year-old selves or up, you know, whether that, you know, we're, we're looking all whatever. But if we go to a restaurant and they have a senior discount, I want to ask for it. I, I mean, if, even if it means, you know, the shots we're going to do are, right. are on special. I agree. Take care of your I nana, agree. People. I mean, Pre-COVID, you had the movie theaters always offered the senior discount. Right. Bowling alleys offered the senior discount. Now, post-COVID, you don't hear about it as much unless you ask for it. Yes. So that's what I'm trying to do to normalize that. Let's make it to where you can absolutely do that. Do you remember um, from a year or two ago a story that broke that young people who were trying to avoid being carded were going to... Goodwill or Salvation Army and buying walkers and gray wigs and glasses and trying to dress themselves up as senior citizens because they figured, okay, who's going to question me now? If I walk in looking like I'm really old, I can buy cigarettes or booze. Because your face isn't going to be as old as your wig and your walker. thick, Thick glasses, sunglasses. I don't know. Maybe someone just assumes they'll find wow. someone too shy to even ask. Yeah. You know, what are you going to, 
What are you going to do? You know how they say they'll That's call- desperate times call for desperate measures, in my opinion. And how many times have you been carded when you know darn well the person knows? Oh, well, you could whenever their, they card me in the grocery store when you buy your wine. Right. And I'm like, you guys are so cute. You're like, just trying to make my day. And, they're, and they giggle and laugh because they know they're only asking because they have to now scan it into a computer. Right. You the know, cash register requires it. Right. It requires it in order to move on. So it's not like they're, you know, saying, you're so young. Look at you. I need to card you. You know, okay. I mean, really? Mm-hmm. So that's where I kind of, as the years have gone on and you figure out it's not about they're really carding you. It's about even at a bar. I mean, I haven't been carded at a bar and I can't even tell you how long. I don't think that's a thing anymore unless you're at a bar for younger people. Right. You know what I mean? Absolutely. If that's the case, then you know. And it's almost like a tip kind of thing. Are you trying to get like a big tip? Are you being condescending? Right. Or, right. or what about when somebody calls you young lady that's younger than you? Oh, no. Oh, when, yeah. Like a, like a 30-year-old ma'am. man. Ma'am. Ma'am or young lady. When they say, yep. okay, young lady, I'm like, wait a minute. Isn't that something you would say like if we were in the movie Cocoon? You'd be right. like, all right, young lady. Yep. Get on back to the bingo. I'm telling you. This is, I mean, it's, it's, it's a mentality way of thinking in your mind. You look in the mirror and you say, I'm not old. Look right. at me. I don't look old. I don't feel old. But new, new, the numbers are showing your age. Like whether you're 58, 55, 61, it is what it is because they go by your birth date. So you can't really lie. And I think that's the problem people have. When they look in the mirror, they don't see an old lady. So they think AARP is for old people. I'm not old. Right. But you know what? I'd take the discount. Yeah. So is it a double standard? Is it a double standard that I don't want to be considered a senior citizen, that I don't want to be thought of as somebody old? And at the same time, yes, thank you. I will have my 10% off and then some. So yeah, it's kind of a double standard, but I'm here for it. I really am. I don't have any problem accepting a senior discount. I just always forget to ask because I don't think of myself that way. So when I walk into a place, I don't think to right, ask. Right, right, right. And the AARP magazine has the most beautiful over 50 celebrities you've ever seen. I mean, they look amazing. So they're trying to change the mentality because Mm -hmm. it's not a bunch of gray-haired old people with walkers on the cover. It's beautiful celebrities who are over 50. So I think they're trying to ingrain that in people's brains. Like, you know, you don't have to be with a walker and gray hair and you know, orthopedic shoes in order to, you know, be AARP members. Exactly. That's that's entirely the the point. So yep. I guess if there was a takeaway from this particular episode, it would be, like I mentioned, to to make it make it okay. Make everybody feel a little bit better about look, there are gonna be some upsides. I was hosting trivia last night. Which at- I love this still. What? (laughs) That you host trivia. Oh, yeah. So so this was a group we had about, it was a smaller group. We had about five teams. It was at a country club. And some one of the questions was about the lady who does the voice of a bird and but that somebody else did the voice of the bird's laugh. And who was it? And there was one team that was a younger couple. And then everybody else was what we would call seniors. Right. And everybody got it right except for this one team. And the answer was Woody Woodpecker. Oh, right. So I said to the group, there are very few moments in this life where you can say, it's so awesome that I'm old. Right, exactly. And this is one of those moments because you have some knowledge that they don't have because they weren't around for Woody Woodpecker. That's not even something that- Yep, they missed out on that one. But I mean, to a person, all the old people were yelling, ha, 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 ha. They all knew the laugh. They all knew. I say old people, not many of them were older than me, but I call them all the old people. But but that's my point. There are only a few times in your life where you're like, yay, I'm a certain age. And if somebody wants to give me a a coupon or a a discount, then that's one of those moments. And I I would like to graciously accept that. I totally agree. And I think now I'm going to go sign up, like I said. Get yeah, my discount. It's like sixteen bucks, I yeah. think it said for the year. Why not? So I mean, if you rent one car and get that savings, yes, or a hotel room, they always offer it when you go mm-hmm. to a hotel. Now, in some in some cases, your your hotel points, or right. if you are military, you right. might get a better discount. So there's always that, but I think it's worth 
checking in with the places that you shop regularly. And and double check us on everything we said earlier in the show, right. too, because that list was clearly a little bit outdated. One of the businesses is no longer there. But there were some that were 50 plus. They just weren't local to us. So I don't know those businesses. But of course, this is a global podcast. So right. you might have something in your own area. Right. That does that. That does that. Well, this is like a really quickie episode, but we just kind of wanted to make sure that we had one for you for this week because we had a heavier one last week. And we've got some really great things coming up. As always, we want to encourage you to let us know in our Ladies Only Facebook group what topics you want to hear about. I agree. I, there are so many good ones coming up, but we're always open to hearing any topics you want to talk about. And if it's something that we've already covered that you think could use a refresh, We'll do it again. Yep. And if it's an organizing question, Christine is always happy to answer those for you as well. Of course, this podcast we have said from the beginning is not about organizing stuff. It's about kind of organizing your life in a way yes. where you're not holding on to a lot of baggage that's going to weigh you down. Yep. But one thing we do want you to hold on to is your money whenever possible. That's why we did the one about the discounts. So thank you, everybody, for being a part of it, for being a part of our community. Please like our 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 Instagram, our TikTok. We have all the socials, but mainly we want to focus on that uncluttered and unfiltered ladies only group. It's private. You have to ask to join it, but we will let you in happily. And then once you're there, then that kind of gives you that opportunity to have the, the conversations. Yep. And like I said, we read everything. So leave comments, leave topic ideas. And share with at least one friend. Please do. And until the next time, with all things, whether it's paying the full amount or getting a discount, whatever you're comfortable doing, you can let it go. And don't look back.